Hi and welcome to another Tea Time with Tanya. Today's question is how do I be all in with a commitment that I've taken on? So last night what happened is I was on a women's circle call that I participate in once a week. Love this call, um, love this group of women. And um, But what came up for me yesterday is I have been teeter-tottering half in, half out. And as much as I really continually have these breakthroughs and feel really connected to the women, I'm not fully all in and it started to bug me because I was like, wow, you know, like, do I quit this women's group or do I continue and what's going to have me continue? And I started to look at three things. Three things started to show up um, during the call and after the call when I did some processing around this. And the first thing is asking for what I need. So this is really the first step is, am I getting my needs met? And do I even, first of all, know what my needs are to be able to ask for them? And then am I actually asking for what I need? And I realized there's so much fear around being rejected, of actually putting my voice out there, of vulnerably asking someone for support or asking someone to do something for me even asking someone for a hug and having that person not fully um, be able to give to me, of of saying no, and really how devastating that would be for me of putting myself out there, putting my neck out there, and then not being received in my vulnerability. And so this is a huge pattern for me in, in a lot of different areas of my life, in relationships and you know, with the circle and, and, and just everywhere is I don't get myself like really clear on what I need because I'm so afraid of asking for it and that fear of being rejected. So just this simple exercise last night of digging deep into this and seeing this and then actually practicing it. And I've created some practices where I ask for hugs. I ask for massage. Um, I have some agreements with some people right now in my life and it's so amazing because it's really having me practice and they're actually sometimes saying no so that I can experience the no and not get caught in the story of it's a rejection and then be able to ask again and have them say yes. So I realize how much I do not ask for support, um, whether it's in the circle or just in my life or in relationship. And really that that is so connected to me being open to receiving. So what the next piece of this is, step two, is um, being generous. Like really, truly being of service. And I had to ask myself the question, like, can I freely give my gifts to the world without expecting anything in return, without expecting to get paid, without expecting um, someone to do something in return for me. Like, can I freely give my gifts? And I realized like how stingy I can be sometimes and how I've built up resentment because I haven't fully received from people who I've given to because I've had this expectation. And this is so linked to me having my needs met and trusting that the universe is going to provide for me and opening myself up to fully receive from the universe in all different places versus expecting something every single time that I'm giving or being of service. This is something that I've dealt with before, but like really, really had it open up for me on this call because as the women started to share and each woman on the call shares very vulnerably, I was seeing places where I could make a difference. And I was wanting to contribute. I was wanting to reach out afterwards to certain women on the call um, because I just felt that pull of like, wow, I really want to help. Like, I really want to be of service. I really want to give my gifts to this person because I I can see where I can make a difference. And yet that that, like not trusting that my needs are going to get met was getting in the way. 
And then the third part of like me being fully in was feeling inspired. Like, you know, it's, it's, there's the, what am I going to get, right? Of what am I going to receive from being committed? And, um, and then there's like the inspiration and that's part of like what I'm going to get is the inspiration. And this is where I started as I engaged in the conversation, um, and really listened to the other women and started to see where I could contribute and make a difference. I started to get more and more inspired and I felt more and more connected. And it was through the connection and through the vulnerability that I just felt my heart expanding and opening. It was just so beautiful. And, um, and part of that inspiration is like, what am I putting at stake? You know, like by me participating in this women's group, what's the bigger, like the, the thing that is so much greater than myself of something that I'm really putting out there in the world of something I want to accomplish my dream. Like what dream am I putting at stake by my participation that the breakthroughs and the interactions and the connections will be worth it because I'm, um, I'm learning things and I'm, um, I'm overcoming blocks to then be able to achieve that dream. I'm getting the support that I need to achieve that dream. So those three things of my needs, asking for what I need, um, opening up to receive, and then being generous, like being of service, and then being inspired, being inspired by my purpose, by, by my bigger why, and by the other people, and by the whole environment, right, that, that I'm participating in. So my question for you is, where are you half in, half out with a commitment? And where are you kind of teetering on the edge? And can you go through these three things of really getting clear on what you need, what your why is, and how you can make a difference with this, with this, um, with this commitment, right? Of like having it be about something so much bigger than yourself. And, um, and can you, can you shift this? Like of this, can you really make a declaration? Cause that's what I did at the end of the call for myself is made this declaration of I'm in, I'm in because of these three things. Like these are, this is, this is it. And I'm in. So can you do that for yourself and can you shift so that you can be fully hundred percent into a commitment where you've been maybe 50, 50 would love to hear from you and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great night.